guys welcome back and today we are going to discussing about our new topic that is a step definition for implementation okay my previous video i also just i show that how to run it your step definition and get that output from the console right and this particular session we going to implement for one particular thing like the login page okay in this login how we can able to login and allow those things we can see in this particular video okay First, in the future, we need to click on right click and choose for the file that is called login dot a feature. Okay, and then we need to create a step definition file called login dot js. Okay, now we are able to create for the two things, and I'm going to add for my step definition file information. Closing, 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 and closing. Okay, now we are able to right now we can see the constant and I'll make it for to require and then I'm going to use for my play right now. Okay, and here is my login. Maybe you'll get for question. You are not created any steps and why you are going to importing these other things. Okay, just for uh, save the time purpose for me okay a future uh, and we are going to log in login with the valid login for our make query rules okay and then my scenarios become Login with the value username and password. Okay, and here is my given. In this particular given, I'm going to use it for providing valid URL. Okay, and when providing a valid username and password and then clicking login button okay this is my symbol okay and then i'm going to copy this entire information first okay this one and we'll copy this all things we'll go here now i need to create my function first okay how we can able to create the function that is called a given okay given is the first function and here we need to use for my step called this one okay given and the single quotation i'm specifying my value okay and parameterization and uh, double quotation value passing and scenario outline we'll see in the next video session okay don't worry and here is my async function i'll dictate and that's why i'm choosing for async function so like this okay and when is uh, my function Okay, and the single quotation I specify here and here as well, and making comma and the async and function and this. Okay, this is the another one, and here again my then condition right. I'm using for single quotation, the last single closing comma async function and then my function here okay now save now we are able to create with all my functions even you can see the all got right and if you click we can able to navigate into exact file location okay and now how we can able to create our needs okay first of all let we need to use the browser to communicate with us okay and then let pages we need to because we require to communicate with the pages okay then first of all i'm going to use for my browser okay and await functionality okay and here is my chromium dot launch okay and then i'm going to use for away so page equal to await browser dot a new page okay new page 
and then we need to use for await based on go to okay, based on go to and then we need to specify our make query tools value okay and now we are able to launch it right and then we need to use for our clicking valid username and password just i'm going to take here and selector hub i'm going to use that and taking the path to saving my time okay otherwise it will take for more time that's why i'm just i'm using for okay what locator we can specify this is my locator dot a fill and this fill i'm going to use for my query Okay, similar format of my password as well. Okay, and then I'll copy here and I'll paste it here and I'll copy this entire information. Okay, and I'll paste it here. I'll make for click. Okay, once it is complete, I want to close my page. Okay, and also wait browser dot close. Both the things I want to close it. Okay, now this is my simple example. Okay, now how we can able to run it? Go to terminal and open the terminal. And we need to use for npm run test. Okay. Now you can see maybe you'll get for one more question here. Uh, first it is heated for this particular one, and but after that it is not open anything. Means basically it will hit for the because our cucumber file dot JSON location we are specified for the uh, star symbol. That's why it is picking for all the files. Okay, if you want to run for specific file, you can able to use. Uh, it is saying that function timeout and showing that uh, 50,000 milliseconds. Okay, because of that uh, time sync up, it is not able to hit it. And also we are able to see, right? Our function is like headless mode, it is by default true. Because of that, we are not able to see for our function, right? Now we mentioned for head and also we can use for there is a function called uh, set default set default timeout okay this I'll mention here set default timeout dot ten thousand seconds okay milliseconds okay and now again I'm going to run it my test again one more time we'll see this time. Yes, browser is open. Now it is done. Even our see two scenarios and two past and six steps and six the past. Okay. In case if you need only for login, you can copy this file name. Login and go to Cucumber and remove the star and paste it. Okay. Now then go. And in case if you need to see the parameterization now, okay, the parameter how we can able to do. And also there is one more parameter that is scenario outline to run for multiple times. These two scenarios I will go on cover for next video session. Okay. Okay. This is all about it. Okay. I hope it this entire information helps for you. Thank you for watching and please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues. Thank you.